Hey guys and welcome back to another video showcasing this month's monthly free assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So once again, for May 2022 we've now got 5 amazing free different asset packs for us to download and use within our games, those being the Stone Pine Forest, the Niagara Mega VFX Pack of Volume 1, the Sunset Modular Medieval Brick Buildings, the Reef Kit and the Horse Starter Kit. So I'm going to be going over these today, covering them and showing them off and just giving some more details and information on them and there'll be links in the description down below to each of these asset packs if you want to try them out for yourselves. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with the Stone Pine Forest. So this is a beautiful rural environment with untouched, natural and settled versions of the main map included. It's got game ready optimization with seamless LOD transitions. So it includes a main map with two different versions, there's an uninhabited and a populated one. It's got a procedural foliage system, automatic slope variation and texture coordinate system for the materials, there are no viewable LOD transitions, the background meshes complement the landscape, easy to control material instances and smart materials, and texture atlas usage for less memory usage. So there's 82 different unique meshes in total, all of which have collision, and the vertex count ranges from 32 to 35,000, and like I said earlier, it does also include LODs. There are 100 materials in total, 22 being mass materials and 80 being material instances and there's 165 textures to go along with those, those being 1k, 2k and 4k in resolution. Now some important notes for this is the procedural foliage is a feature you'll need to turn on from the editor preferences and then experimental and they've recommended to open the showcase map before any other one. So I think these look absolutely great, I do always love these kind of asset packs where it's just in nature and forest and trees and all this stuff and this one is no exception and this is rated 5 stars on the marketplace as well. Next up is the Niagara Mega VFX Pack Volume 1 and this includes 6 different packs, those being the Stylized Attack VFX Pack, the Stylized Shooting VFX Pack, the Basic Pickups, Niagara Ice Skill, Niagara Ray and Niagara Projectile Packs. So with this one you get all those 6 different packs, so in total it is 96 Niagara VFX Packs. The type of emitters are Niagara CPU, there are 96 unique effects without LODs, there's 141 materials, 123 textures and 69 unique meshes. So this is quite a basic one to go over, there's not much other information on here, obviously you can go into the different packs on the marketplace as well to get more details but also the video on screen now does show off quite well. We've got a lot of different things here because once again like I say it is 96 different VFX packs which we have, or well, 96 different VFX across six packs I should say. Next is the Sunset Modular Medieval Brick Buildings. Now this is UE5 ready and is an atmospheric large scale environment built from modular assets. So there's four complementary building sets plus clutter, furniture and foliage all sharing a realistic medieval style and using parallax occlusion mapping for high quality details. So there's over 120 modular medieval building assets for the following types. Those are castle walls, churches, houses and a keep. There's over 40 interior meshes, an interactable animated door blueprint, over 10 basic furniture meshes and over 30 medieval clutter. There's also rocks and cliffs with dynamic moss materials, foliage i.e. trees, plants and grass, a customizable ocean material, you can create your own medieval banner with a material, there's a playable landscape area and there's also distant terrain mesh. So this does have automatically generated collision on them with 3-4 to four LODs as well. There's 170 plus meshes, 70 plus materials and material instances and 120 plus textures. I think this one looks amazing and again it's modular so everyone can have the same pack but make something which looks completely different because well, everything you see on screen here you can take apart and make yourself kind of like Lego. You can really just build up whatever you want. Now we've got the Reef Kit, and this is a fully customizable set of assets to create a living, breathing underwater scene with a variety of dynamic seaweed, coral, rocks, landscape material and particle systems. This contains a set of material instances that allow for a large variety of customization. So there's 45 meshes, those including but not limited to seaweed, coral, rock, starfish, boat, loads of other fish types, cave entrances, light shafts, planes and so much more. So the planes will obviously be if you want a sunken plane at the bottom of the ocean. There are three blueprints, those being a light shaft, a torch and a reef kit game mode. There are 17 mass materials and 43 material instances and 5 particle systems, 
those being bubbles, a fish school, floating dust, jellyfish, and sand scatter. And there's 122 textures with a resolution of 1K or less. And it does also have collision with four LODs per mesh as well. So this looks like quite a nice one as well. It looks very high quality and there's lots of stuff here for you to be able to just make your own underwater scene. And also a good thing about underwater is you can make this water kind of look really mucky or really thick so you can't see through it that well. So then it can be less detailed under the water as well if you wanted. But obviously it doesn't need to be and especially doesn't need to be for this. As again, this looks like it's very high quality with lots of different variations of assets and meshes in here. Also including planes, so they've not just thought about water, they've also thought about what other stuff might you find under the water that doesn't necessarily belong there. And finally, last but not least, we've got the Horse Start Kit. So this is animals for your game environment by Living Systems. You can add rideable horses to your game, and the entire pipeline is included so it's very customizable. This does also include the animation rig in Maya as well, and the ZBrush file for the horse. So the horse start kit is the perfect solution for anyone looking to add horses to their game as this game ready kit is animated using the unreal character skeleton for the horse rider so you can also just use these animations as well if you don't want the rest of the system you can just use the animations and retarget them over to your own meshes if you wanted so inside of this pack we get one fully rigged and animated horse skeletal mesh with reins and saddle pieces 69 animations for both the horse and rider two animation blueprints for both the horse and the rider as well. Along with the animation blueprint, we also have blend spaces to make the animations look a lot nicer when it's turning. And we've got horse skins and physics assets as well. There's lots of other stuff in here too, but there's quite a lot, so I'm not gonna to to go over it all. And again, the video does show it off quite well. There's also mounting and dismounting animations. So it's nice and smooth. It doesn't just suddenly pop on and appear on the horse. The horse will orient to ground by adjustable amount. The camera will also change how it looks based upon the speed. And the horse's tail and mane also use cloth simulation too. Now this video they've provided doesn't show off amazingly I think because what they've also shown is the blend space showing the animation should be turning nicely when it is actually turning so it has a nice animation however when they've set it up it's not really using those animations it's just suddenly turning and it looks a bit janky and the speed isn't all there so I think this has the potential to be great but the way they've set it up isn't all there but I imagine you could customize this yourself and really set it up properly in order to actually have this working how you'd want. And I might look into doing tutorials on that if that's something people want as well. So again, I think this one looks absolutely great. It really is a starter kit. You've got the basics here of riding a horse. That's both getting on and off and actually controlling it as well. And again, you've also obviously got the actual horse ZBrush file and the animation rig in Maya all included too. So you can really customize it for how you want as well if that's what you were after. The horse also has four LODs on it as well and the text resolutions are all 4K. But I think that'll be it for this video going over this month's monthly free assets for May 2022 in the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Again, we've got five amazing free assets and these ones actually work quite well together. So you could have a horse riding through Pine Forest where they find a medieval castle, which could also be on the shoreline with a reef in it and somewhere in the castle you're going to have the Niagara effect so maybe there's a campfire or something in there so normally the packs don't work quite well together but this month I think they actually blend pretty well together so I think this is probably the best month they've done in quite a while I think my favourite pack this month is probably the Stone Pine Forest and let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one is for this month but thanks so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just going over and covering the different assets and giving my thoughts and opinions on them and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.